It's like Chris Tucker in Fifth Element. Remember that? He's got his yes guys following him everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was awesome. That's how it is. Yep. Well, yeah, apparently, people people like the background music. Yeah, come on, put some music. So the microphone's on. That's why, that's why I was putting the sound up. Because it's All like I ever hear from you is, okay, I've muted the microphone. To I to never us. hear, I turn the microphone back on. How come that is, Chris? Put the sound up. Right now. Oh, yeah. That is important. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. You're awesome. This doesn't actually play that well because this is an underpowered laptop. So I'll just play it. How long have we been down on our site now? Are we going to, what is that? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Are we going to um, extend it then? Uh, well, no, we don't. Uh, you mean on our stuff? Right. We'll, I think we'll go get there. We'll see. Turn it down. I can run it. It's awesome. Now everyone gets to see the camera. Yeah, what is it? What is it? No, what is it? What is it? What is it? And in case you forget, uh, I watch her. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Instead of eye drops. <laughs> yeah. I looked at this and thought, is this just a piece of bread? There's actually stuff in it. That has to be a tax and thing, because we don't have anything that looks like that. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that. No, I'm not tangible. Let's see. Okay, so uh, we I answered the um, tablet one. Do we have another question we want to do, Ben? Uh, hold on. Just a moment. Let's see. Another question, guys. What happens when two ships crash into each other? Do they both come to a stop? Do they bounce off each other? What? They bounce off each other just like... Uh, well, no, I mean, it's whatever the, it's what the, it's what the physics will simulate. So the collision will be simulated correctly, and uh, so the, <coughs> there will be impulses imparted to both ships, and I guess it will depend on the mass, on how much, uh, you know, so if there's a very big, uh, heavy ship like a carrier, and you crash into it, it you probably won't really change the carrier's... Uh, uh, position much or its velocity much, but the smaller ship will uh, either bounce off or blow up based on the kinetic en energy imparted. But it's all physically modeled correctly. How do you feel about player-driven content? I think player-driven content is fantastic, and we are going to try and have um, as much that makes sense into the persistent universe, and then obviously people can. Uh, do their own stuff on their own hosted servers. But certainly, uh, I've seen a couple of really cool uh, 3D ship stuff that people have been working on, and uh, we're going to let people submit uh, some ships that they design, and uh, as long as it works inside uh, the parameters we set out and um, we think it will fit well in the universe, then we will uh, include it and let it be uh, bought and sold in our um, ship dealers. Question for Sandy. Have Sandy talk about what her job responsibilities are. I just, is that um, David Miller? Mm, it doesn't have his real name. Oh, uh, because I just responded to somebody on my email <laughs> with my job responsibilities. <laughs> so if that's you, I just did that. Well, what if it's not? Well, if it's not, then I'm just going to do, I'm going to just wait, not delay. That's not Question, delayed. will there be a way for clans or large groups of players to control star systems or parts of space? Um, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about large uh, areas of space, but there certainly will be fixed locations that will be strategic and can be captured or controlled by groups of people. So there'll be, you know, the instances where you randomly encounter people, which will be sort of the random battle instances, and those aren't in a fixed location, but there will be like a, you know, a hidden asteroid base or uh, some other areas that you can actually. Uh, you know, control or people can 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 hang out and uh, and fight for for its control. Will freelancer style nebulae feature in star system star systems? What about other navigational hazards? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, actually, we're going to push it. We're going to push it more. So I don't know if anyone's seen, but there's a pretty cool uh, video that was done by Mark Goldsworthy, who was one of the freelance one of the 
core freelancer artists who then went to uh, is actually now working at Bungie but he did a prototype video a while ago for Nebula uh, just for Freelancer 2 that never happened and uh, we're definitely going to be building something that will be like that so, so yes lots of variety lots of space terrain lots of cool looking stuff okay. which ship do you picture yourself flying in the business universe hmm. <laughs> carrier no just kidding um, I think probably my favorite right now is the constellation, uh, but we will uh, we will see. Uh, it's uh, it's actually just kind of fun building all of them and de designing them and working with people like Ryan and Jim on the, the conceptual design. So uh, I kind of have fun, and each one I do, I sort of kind of like as I do it. So uh, I like the Hornet a lot, but I've done a lot of flying in that now. So I'm kind of into looking forward to getting the constellation up and running, flying around in the game. Which one we have up and running? We'll release a cool video, so I expect to hopefully have that in about uh, three months, maybe, maybe four months. But uh, you'll get to see the constellation flying in game um, in the near future. Will there be single or multiple characters per account on the official server? Uh, to be honest, we haven't thought uh, about whether we would have, uh, you know, whether it's single or multiple characters. I'm not particularly. Uh, I don't have an opinion on either one of those, uh, which one I would prefer or not prefer. So I think that's really just going to be a, an implementation issue. Uh, if there wasn't anything detrimental about it, then I would be fine with the multiple characters. I just it's hard to say right now because uh, uh, some of the back end uh, sort of service structure still has to be implemented. Let's see. Uh, yes, that is his Twitter account. Uh, person who just asked that. Oh. Um, do I have shirts? Is there? A, yes, there is a picture of the shirts. It's it's, uh, it's at the website, which is down right now. But uh, when it comes back up, click on the the com link, and there's an update about the shirts. Uh, will it be possible to own shops to sell ships, weapons, resources, etc.? Uh, it's certainly it's certainly possible to. Uh, essentially uh, be a trader and buy and sell goods uh, so I don't necessarily know about weapons but you'll certainly be able to for instance uh, buy say a mining station and sell raw minerals to people and there'll be other areas where you'll be able to uh, you know buy a factory and manufacture stuff uh, so there'll be a certain amount of sort of crafting uh, that people can can do if they want to do um, uh, and so it theoretically could be weapons and stuff but uh, that hasn't been fully uh, fully designed out, which is going to be, but we're definitely going to be supporting that kind of thing. Will there be visible damage on ships? Absolutely, there will definitely be visible damage on ships. I mean, there already actually is. Uh, in imp there's already that's already implemented in the system, and it's more a matter of just sort of building the uh, all the different components of the ships out with multiple damage levels. But it's uh, it's already in the code right now. Will there be player housing, and how will it work? <laughs> uh, well, it's not necessarily the going to. Be, what's that? Punk beds and stuff to start the ships. Uh, well, the bigger ships, yeah. There'll be some that you know, like on the constellation, there's a there's a uh, there's a punk bed. But um, uh, you know, as a sort of later stage in the game, if you make enough money, you'll be able to buy your own uh, sort of you know whatever it is, a penthouse on a planet or or a, a location. Uh, but uh, you know, there won't not necessarily so much be you wake up in your apartment uh, for everybody. It sort of will be more aspirational to buy a location. Uh, but you'll all have sort of a home. You'll have a sort of designated home planet where you sort of last docked or where you where you call your home base. Is there going to be thermal scanning in the game to find mm -hmm. invisible ships? Uh, well, there's definitely going to be all sorts of uh, radar arrays and avionics and scanning, and uh, certain ships will be able to. Um, have uh, you know be able to reduce their heat uh, signature or their visual signature, and there'll be other ways to sort of look for those and counter counter them. So so there will be definitely a, a degree of that. Let's see, any idea when the alpha starts? November twenty thirteen. Uh, yeah, no, I mean basically it's going to be November slash December uh, this time next year. Can there be player host door run bars inside the Idris or bigger ships and or asteroid bases? Uh, say that again? 
Player run bars inside ships. Player run bars um, inside ships. Inside ships or asteroids. For, for drinking and entertaining. <laughs> well, I think like if there is a space station or an asteroid base, 